So in this video, let's make a spring and cover some of the nuances that we can have with helical design. So working in the Alibre environment, we'll go ahead and select the XY plane and activate a sketch. I'll create a circle and this will allow us to start modeling our spring. Maybe we'll give this a distance of three and we'll give this a diameter of 0.75 and we'll make sure that we are horizontal here. So as I go to create an additive helix this time, in the last video we did a subtractive helix, this time we'll add material. And I'll select my axis here. And uh, maybe I'll uh, change this to be a height of 10. We'll go with a pitch of two. And uh, I, I wanna have my spring have a section of flatness so that it will be assisted in seating properly. So how do I do that? Well, I can go to this advanced tab over here in Alibre. And in this advanced, I can see that I have end conditions of natural. I can also select flat. And you can tell that uh, natural, these are grayed out, but flat allows me to adjust the transition and flat angles. And what are those? Well, a flat angle would be what angle do I want to have flat? In other words, if I say 180 degrees, then the spring will go 180 degrees in revolution, completely flat, and then it will start to transition into the regular helical pitch that I have uh, specified earlier. So if I say that my flat angle should be 180 degrees, then we'll expect this to go 180 degrees around, right? but it disappears and it says the sweep results in self intersecting surface. So what we'll do is we'll have to specify a transition angle. If I change this back to zero, what Alibre is trying to do is to go 180 degrees around flat and then instantly transition into the pitch that we want. And indeed that would be self intersecting. So we need to transition from being completely flat to going into the pitch that we specify. So if I say I want a, a transition angle of 90 degrees, then we spend the first 90 degrees of our revolution from being completely flat with our starting surface into going into our pitch, which I think is two. Yep, two. So now I can say, well, I wanna be flat for 180 degrees. And we go 180 degrees flat and as you can tell, right, we are even flat on the screen for the first 180 degrees, and then we start going up as we come around. And we get a little intersection right here, right? So if I say, okay, it can work. We were able to produce the model with a little bit of an intersection, but keep that in mind because that may not be how you want to manufacture something. So, Let's make some adjustments. I'll go to advanced and I'll say I want my transition angle to be something like 60 degrees. And there we're able to have a more healthy gap. We're able to stay flat to help with our seating, but now we have a better gap. Once I find settings that I like on one end, it can be pretty easy to specify flat and a transition, transition angle of 60 and 180 on the next side. You'll notice that as we go around, when I added the 180, we just made the spring a little bit longer, but we did not make it taller. And the reason why is we specified the height on the other screen, and now, no matter what I do here, we can always ensure that we have the height that we want. So this is a spring that has some custom parameters on the end so that we have the flat and transition angles that we want. Well, if you thought that was cool, hold on, because there's even cooler features coming up in the next video.